You pointed out before that most stateless societies in the past have developed cultural mechanisms to reteach and constantly rearticulate why authority has to be resisted. What are some good cultural mechanisms for us to start practicing right now to articulate skepticism towards power? The most obvious examples for me are ones that people already do. ACAB, fuck the police, creating this, this very popular rejection against the police, which works in a lot of ways. And then similarly, a rejection against politicians, absolute distrust for politicians. Those work in a lot of ways. They make it more difficult for institutions of the state to infiltrate our communities and, and movements uh, through community policing through grassroots political campaigns. They have to do a lot more work because of this widespread popular distrust of those institutions and their, and their agents in the case of police and politicians. Uh, those become rallying cries in moments of social conflict, uh, like the, the huge wave of, of anti-police, anti-racist revolts that, that have spread across the US and many other countries across the world. They're also really helpful because they function at a metaphorical level. Within our struggles, we can, we can use these as sort of mythical figures or archetypal figures that identify behaviors that are really unhealthy to, to foster within our communities. You, know, you can say like, oh, someone's acting like a cop or someone's acting like a judge or someone's acting like a politician. And, you know, institutionally, they won't actually be a cop or a judge or a politician, but they are, they're modeling some kind of, of social relation, which, which we're identifying as constituting a path back towards hierarchy. And of course, there are you know certainly bad ways to to do that, as as with anything. Like you know, snitch jacketing comes comes to mind. Like I mean, that's the thing. Like if you're an anarchist, if you're an anti-authoritarian, you, you know you can never really like just uh, you know take a deep breath, let it all out, and and chill. You always have to kind of be on on the lookout. All of our all of our weapons and all of our tools can be misused. And as anarchists, we're insisting that, you know, that there's no difference between means and ends. So we have to be constantly careful about how we struggle, how we how we use these different weapons. But um, but all told, you know, it's very, very useful to have this archetype of the cop or the politician as a way to, um, you know, to, to highlight behaviors that make our struggles weaker, that turn people against one another, or that uh, help the state be reborn in the midst of our struggles, so that if, you know, anything that we ever win becomes corrupted and becomes just a new form of, of course, new authority.